Amazon unveiled the Kindle Fire HD in early September in both 7-inch and 9-inch sizes. The 7-inch Kindle Fire HD, priced at $199 for the entry-level 16GB version, competes with new, small tablets like Google's Nexus 7, which starts at $199 for an 8GB version. Since releasing the original Kindle Fire, Amazon has made clear it plans to make money when people use the tablet and buy content, not necessarily to turn a big profit on the hardware itself. UBM Tech Insights took a look at the components inside the 7-inch Fire HD to see just how much the device is costing Amazon to produce and what sort of profit, if any, they're making on it. The most expensive part of the tablet is the 1280 by 800 display and touchscreen, which cost Amazon about $50 total. Second to that is the processor, which is built by Texas Instruments and costs $21. The battery, which Amazon says lasts 11 hours, costs about $9. That's the same price as the 16 gigs of storage included with the tablet. The other parts of the device, including the cameras, Wi-Fi chips, RAM, and other supporting materials, cost Amazon $59. That brings the total cost of the 7-inch Kindle Fire HD's materials to $148. Compare that to Google's 8GB Nexus 7, which is also priced at $199, but costs $158 in materials. Now, Amazon's costs don't include manufacturing and shipping, which can also add to the final cost they pay to produce these tablets. But it's safe to say that with a $199 price point, Amazon is making some sort of profit on the 7-inch Kindle Fire HD. For CNN Money, I'm Julianne Pepitone.